episode. <clears throat> Today I have a special guest with me, Blackie the All White Dog. And me and Blackie are gonna go do some small creek wading on the beautiful Upper 11 Point River. The very, very upper. Too small to really canoe. Only good if you can get in and wade it. And uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna try to catch some smallmouth, maybe some goggle eye, long-eared sunfish, or whatever bites, but hopefully at least those three. There's really no largemouth in here. I think I've caught maybe one. I'm sure they exist, but uh, mostly smallmouth, sunfish, and northern, or uh, shadow bass. I call them goggle eye. It's just a very, this place is so out in the middle of nowhere, guys. Very peaceful, very quiet, very small town. I think the town only has 50 people or 100 or something like that. No stores, no gas stations, no nothing. Just peace and serenity. And Blackie came here one time last year and he absolutely loved it. He likes getting in the water and swimming. He went straight for the water. And I was leaving the house. I was gonna come here because I, I didn't want to go far away today. I'm just kind of wore out from fishing three days in a row already. This will be my fourth. And I just couldn't see the stand the look on his face when he seen I was leaving. You could see it in his eyes, like, please take me with you. So I decided uh, you know, he needs to get out and enjoy some things too. So I took him along with me. I can tell he remembers this place. You can tell he remembers being here, don't you? Yeah. Of course you do. I'm just walking up to the sign this new GoPro 12 that doesn't have good zoom capabilities. I'm just, I want to get a good thumbnail or a good photo of just this sign. Oh wow, a beaver has made a dam across the entire river. That's not good because smallmouth can't get up here then. You gotta be freaking kidding me. All the holes I'm fishing, they probably couldn't migrate up this. What? Holy cow. That is not cool at all, honestly. That's what I was gonna rely on was up river. I mean, they still may have stayed in there, but I doubt it. A lot of these smallmouth migrate downriver during the winter in search of deeper, warmer holes. Well, if there's a beaver, beaver dam all the way across it, then they're blocked. And there may not be nothing up here then. Got him. <clears throat> All right. Just wanted to get on the board here, guys. Nice little long-eared sunfish. Pretty little thing. Really pretty.
All right, what do we got? Looks like a little long ear again. Real little. You're going to scare all the good fish. Yeah, you're scaring all the good fish away. I think I may have a rock bass. Small mouth. Guys, <laughs> little bitty small mouth anyway. Quit. Awesome! Yes! This is cool guys, bleeding shiner. He ain't got really any red on him like they normally do, but that is a bleeding shiner. I could use this guy for bait and catch a giant smallmouth if I really wanted. But we're gonna save that for the sake of, I want a real good picture of this fella. That's cool, I didn't, that's a nice uh, surprise catch. Leading Shiner. If I can get him to hold still long enough to, is the problem. Especially because the dog keeps wanting to get involved. I don't think I can get him to sit still long enough. Quit it. Bleeding shiner, guys. Pretty cool. That get. You get. Cool catch, guys. Did you eat it? No. You gonna eat it? This feels a little better. If it's a long ear, it's a little better sized. Bluegill. All right, so far we've gotten long ear, small mouth, bleeding shiner, and bluegill. There ain't many of these in here up this far. It's almost all. I'd say 80% is of the whole creek is long ear. This is the one that's as closest, and maybe that's just after a certain time of the year. Maybe it's too early for the bright red. This one's the prettiest one so far, without a doubt.
Wacky. Holy cow, guys. A beaver dam going all the way across the river below where the two meets together. That's why it's deeper back here. Holy cow. So my theory was wrong. They're still, that is just insane. That they blocked the river up here too. Yep, I'm definitely contacting somebody. There we go. Got something. Small mouth. No, goggle eye. Awesome. All right. One of the desired species, guys. He's not the size I'm after, but hey, I will take him. Stay back.
like I said, I always find cool rocks here. This is a pretty neat one. <clears throat> it's got a weird ring around it. These are totally blocking the river, guys. It's just not a partial block. It is completely blocking the entire stream. Where the current just barely seeps through the little gaps of the sticks, but nothing can get through it. That explains why I'm not seeing now. I should not see any more because it's too big now for the beavers to block it. That should be the last one. All right, guys, we're at spot number two. I want us going to try this for a little bit. It was on the way home. Kind of gives me a break right in the middle. About 30 minutes. In between, it's 30 minutes to get here and then 30, another 30 after. So it's an hour drive home. This kind of gave me a break right in the middle of it. So and I'm going to try get a fish on the rebel crawdad which would be a big small mouth or a trout or goggle eye whatever and then i'm just going to try to catch some of them shadow bass with worms afterwards let's see what happens this is just one big hole at a bridge and it's way down river about 15 to 20 miles down river from where we just was it's a completely different river here about eight times the size of where we just was That's kind of cool. Didn't get any of them today, so it's something different. Green sunfish. It's okay. It's okay. All right. It's all right. Little bitty shadow bass too. Really small. Oh yeah, Yay. big smallmouth on a worm, guys. Now this made my day right here, this one fish. That is the same fish that I tried to get on the Rebel Crawdad. And he... Wow, that is awesome. That's a nice smallmouth for a little red wiggler. And I'm telling you what, that red wiggler wasn't even half of a worm. Oh yeah, he's 13, 14 inches. My God, no, he's about 12, actually. Heck yeah. Now yeah, I've had a day. Man. That really helped. I did not expect to catch him. I knew he was over there. But honestly, I didn't think it would ever work. I wasn't really even trying for him.
actually worked. Oh, it's a beauty. That is awesome. It finally paid off, guys. I may not have caught any smallmouth where I went earlier, but it paid off in the end. Wow, what a beauty. Beautiful smallmouth. 